everyone, how many of you have a box like this full of photographs and documents and letters and you would like to find a way to be able to share those with other family members or maybe even create a craft project? Well, in today's how-to video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the FlipPal scanner. So stick around. to move from my fireplace into my kitchen area because it kind of got a little hot sitting in front of the fireplace. I didn't really want to melt in front of you guys. So I want to continue talking about the FlipPal mobile scanner and the fun that I have using it. I want to share that with you guys so you guys can see everything that you can do with the FlipPal mobile scanner. It is like mobile. I take it with me wherever I go so scanning items on the go. Huh how to scan on the go. There we go. So let's get started. Here is the box of photographs that my mom sent me. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to scan these photographs using the FlipPal mobile scanner. So let's get started. I will turn on the switch which is located on the side of the mobile scanner and you will see once I flip on that switch so there's a display window that's lit up here on the front of the mobile scanner and it displays information such as the date and the time and what's really neat is I'm going to show you what else it displays here in just a second. So it has an SD card here on the side so that way when you're done scanning your documents and photographs you can put them on to your computer. Now if your computer does not have an SD card uh, port, don't worry. You also get this uh, USB adapter which has a slot here on the side you can put your SD card that comes with everything. Oh, and before I forget, when the video ends, you can click down below to go to the FlipPal mobile scanner website to learn more about the scanner, to get more information on it. My whole purpose right now is I want to show you guys how much fun I have using the FlipPal mobile scanner and how easy it is to use and the different things you can do with it. So let's go ahead and get started and have some fun. So I'm going to show you this is the the little cover on the top and then you have your scanning bed here okay so don't worry you'll get to see some close-up shots of this also I promise let's go on ahead and pick a picture there's so many to pick from gosh if you guys are like me you have so many things like this that you would like to be able to scan and put in there let's see ah here we go this one appears to be my mother and her brother so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the picture and lay it face down on the mobile scanner. Close the lid and press the green button on the side. You're going to hear a humming sound. That sound is telling you that it's the scanner bar going through and scanning the photograph that you placed on the scanner. Remember I told you about that display window that's lit up? Here's the picture that was being scanned that I have on my scanner. So it lets you know that the picture's been scanned and it's completed. That is so cool. Okay. So then just flip the top and this picture's done. I can put it in my done pile. Let's see. I'm gonna scan another one. Let's have some fun. Okay. I gotta make sure that I am not scanning anything too embarrassing to my family. Um you know what? I'm all about having fun. Why not have fun with myself? Here. So here's a colored photo of me with a really gorgeous hairstyle back about 1980 and my little brother. So we're going to flip it down and again scan and you can hear it humming so I know that it's being scanned. How easy is this? It's so You can take it with you wherever you go. You can put it in your suitcase, you can put it in your purse, keep it in your car. You can even sit in front of the TV which is what I might do later because there's so many of them to do. I'm not going to torture you guys with scanning each photograph that I have sharing a little story behind them. But I can sit in front of the TV with the box next to me, my FlipPal mobile scanner on my lap, and easily scan the photographs as I'm watching a TV show. It's that easy. And done. Another one in the done pile. In the window it shows me that the photograph has been scanned and it's in color. 
Now that I've shown you how easy it is to scan some of these photographs, let me move on to something a little different to scan. Maybe something a little bit larger or maybe something with a little bit more detail. As a genealogist and family researcher, one of the things that I like to do for my family, especially when it comes time to the holidays or when I'm putting together a packet or a small book for a family reunion, is to include not only these pictures, but also to include other things like letters and maybe some documents and maybe some heirlooms that we have in the house that I want to share with everybody else. So I scan those, I put them on my computer, and I print those out. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Now, this, this was not from, this one is not my family, but this is in a collection that I have. This is a Western Union document. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to scan this Western Union document, okay? So I'm going to lay it down flat. I'm going to take my mobile scanner, switch it back on because it does time out. Oh, and by the way, it is wireless. It's run by battery, so you don't have to worry about a plug-in if you take it with you to a library to go scan. Or if you're at a scrapbooking event, you can sit at the table. How cool would that be? You're sitting at the table, everybody else is doing their photographs, and you start popping some of those photographs out and start scanning those photographs that you have and putting them on your computer that's sitting there. You'd be a rock star. Okay, pop the top off, and then your scanner now becomes a scanner that can scan larger items, larger documents, by flipping it upside down. Okay, so watch. So I'm taking it and I flip it upside down, and when you're doing this, from the left to the right, just like when you're reading a book. And we're going to hit the button. Now, when using the flip pout on an item like this, on a larger item, what's really nice is the flip pout mobile scanner has a software that's included on the SD card that you have. So when you put it into your computer, you're going to see a program that's going to be labeled Easy Stitch Software. This program takes these photographs, these documents, these things that you scan, and it makes them all web up and match together magically. I don't know the technical term on it, but like I said, down below is the website, so you can go on, click on it, and find out some more of the technical terms. This is all about the fun side of it. So when you're scanning it, one thing to remember is a rule of thumb is that you always overlap it at least one inch, so that way it you don't have to really worry about the precise placement of the scanner when you lay the scanner down, okay? All right, so there's scan number one. Let's go on to scan number two. Again, lay down, and I press the green button. It's also neat when you're scanning this way because you can see the document through the clear window. You can see the bar as the scanning bar goes over the top of it and how it's gonna beautifully scan this document. And now we're gonna go to three. I did this one in three just because I wanted to show you how you overlap. Now we're going to move on to something larger. This is another item that I have in my collection and this one for those of you who are watching who are archivists and collectors, this will probably throw you for a loop, sorry. This is something that I found in the trash can. I pulled it out of a trash can at a historical society that had thrown it away. And as you can see, the war is over. This is such a neat thing to have in your home. What I do with it, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Right now I have it in a protected container that's in my office but I absolutely think this is one of those neat things. There were a few of the newspapers that I found, so I want to show you how easy it is to also be able to scan larger things like this newspaper. But So I'm going to scan the smaller print, so that way you can see how easy and how clear the print is thanks to the FlipPal mobile scanner. Let's get started. Now this one, I'm going to again go from left to right, and this one I'm probably going to do this scan in a, mm, I'm looking at probably about eight different scans because I want to make sure that I get everything on there just right. And what's also neat about this, scanning something this size and doing it this close, you guys get to see not only how clear the text is that's in the paper, color is actually going to be true to the newspaper itself. Alright, so there's scan one and I'm going to keep scanning here. Okay, I'm still finishing up some of the scanning. I got the whole top row. 
Now we're going to go to the bottom row. Now some of you might be questioning the use of the FlipPal mobile scanner when you take it to different places like the libraries or the archives. Always check when you go in to make sure that this is approved, that they approve it. I personally have never run into any issues with the scanner because one thing to point out when using it, you're not damaging a document. You're not uh, running it through a machine. It's something that can lay flat. It can stay in its original container. It can stay in its original folder. It can stay in its original frame. And you're able to scan that without harming that document, that photograph, or that particular piece of heirloom. Okay, we are on our last scan of the newspaper. All done, and you can see here, the screen's lit up here with a little display showing the newspaper that I just scanned. What a wonderful tool to have. Mobile, easy to carry, lightweight, and cordless. Okay, now I've opened up the Easy Stitch tab and you can see the different things that I scanned, different documents and things, okay? I'm going to show you how easy it is to stitch using the Easy Stitch program that is with the Flip Pal. I'm going to show you how easy it is to stitch some of the documents and different things that I scanned. So let's start with the Western Union. Click on all three of those, because remember it was three that I scanned, and simply click. Now this is where the magic happens. The image stitching is in process. Voila! It took three separate scans and stitched it together perfectly. But let's rotate it so you get a better view. There we go. Okay, remember the newspaper? Well now I'm going to show you how easy it is to stitch the scans from the newspaper. So, there you go, you have it. The stitching is complete. So let's open the stitched image. Isn't that amazing? You're able to stitch 10 different scans together and have them all stitched together without having to worry yourself about cutting and pasting and putting it together on your own. Okay, so let me go in a little closer so you can see. Look at that. Look at the text. That is so clear. I'm telling you, this FlipPal mobile scanner is an asset that I have. It's something that I take with me wherever I go when I'm doing my research. I use it when scanning documents and photographs for clients or myself, and I even use it when doing DIY projects. There are so many possibilities. Once again, I am happy to be an affiliate and spokesperson FlipPal mobile scanner. And I hope you enjoyed this first video that I shared with you on how much fun I have using my FlipPal mobile scanner. So down below are some links that you can click on to learn more about the FlipPal mobile scanner. And remember to throw me some thumbs up, share the video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you click that subscribe button. So that way you can see next what I'm going to be showing you that I am going to be doing with the FlipPal mobile scanner for the holidays.